Hey, this is Matt Chris Gualo coming to you up close and personal. If you haven't noticed, there it is right there. And I'm going to be doing a first-time reaction to this guy named Rummy Poetry. I, I don't know if that's his real name, but the dude's from Tehran, and we're going to be doing a first-time reaction in about 30 seconds. So anyway, this one actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, came requested by William Money. And that's M-U-N-N-Y for those of you who want to know. So let's get right to this and check out, check out what this is all about. Where's the music? Here we go. Oh. Already got the gooseies. Already got the gooseies. Gorgeous. Mm. You know, one thing I would encourage all of you to do if you don't already do it. See, a lot of people, they can't really listen to music in a different language because they get hung up on that they can't follow the lyrics. I listen to lots of music that don't. I don't understand the lyrics because I don't speak the languages. And... It's such a beautiful exercise to listen to the shapes, the inflections, the 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 the, the textures, the the vowels, the, the consonants, and and listen to the music not so much for the lyric the, the lyrics and the lyric of the music, although they are, they are important. I'm not denying that, but sometimes just listening to the sounds and everything as if the mu as if that foreign language is just an instrument, and listening to it sonically instead of you know uh, in terms of language. Um, I think you could also experience the music in a very different way. And I know those a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Those that you that don't know, you should try to do that. Close your eyes and just listen to it and divorce yourself from the fact that you don't know what the words are. Listen to the sounds of the voice and everything. Colors. And... And another thing which I find so beautiful about music and how humans from different parts of the world interpret music is that we share a lot of this, we share the same emotions, you know, uh, sorrow, happiness, uh, fear, all these different emotions that we, as uh, they, that, are, that are the human experience. But different cultures and different, from different parts of the world, they, they, their music reflects and interprets and expresses those emotions differently. And it's so interesting to hear that and sometimes maybe a little difficult and a challenge for some to experience that feeling that is being expressed, uh, even though it's the same feeling that you would have. It's just coming from a different place, um, almost like a dialect, a different language, the music itself, um, but still, nonetheless, still the same feelings. So.
shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. بیان که از عشق تو دیوانه گشتم و گر شهری بودم ویرانه گشتم عشق تازه خام نومان بری به درد عشق تا هم خانه گشتم چنان کائل بودم کن را نگویم که دیدم روی تا مردان گشتم بیورفه Incredible, also the connection between the language of a, of a of a people and the music that ends up getting created. You know, the chicken and the egg thing. I think that the the language uh, and the, and and the way the the language, the culture, everything. I mean, it's so many different variables. And then when you when it culminates into the musical expression, it's all built into that. So that's such a unique, you know, such a unique recipe to 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 make this final type of music that we're listening to. جان خود جان تو دیدم ز خیشان بر تا بیگانه گشتم I hear that حسانه آشقان خوندم شب و روز کنم در عشق تا افسانه گشتم کنون در عشق تو افسانه گشتم افسانه گشتم کنون در عشق تو افسانه That style of singing actually there's a there's a, a rel there's it's it's related to you know the uh, gospel and soul that we hear in America from the uh, from uh, black singers and black musicians and uh, and 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 culture. It also reminds me of Neapolitan music from Italy. You know what I mean? There's that there's some of that Neapolitan in there too. Thank you. 
sera Damn. Dude gets a lot of sound out of a little piece of wood with some strings on it. actually the lyrics how in the name of love the partner asked I guess him in this case right to cut all ties with family and friends to almost to forget everything to just make the whole world revolve around their love and around the you know what I mean it's like it flies against certain ideas that we might have in our in, in different cultures how you know when you you know you don't want to cut f ties from friends and family you know that if, if if your partner asks you to do that or requires you or demands you you know that it's that it's not right that it's not fair that it's not proper 
but yet in the context of the song it almost feels like it's like it is okay like it's that's what you would do in the name of love it's interesting Wow. All right. That was heavy, man. I really enjoyed that. I dug that a lot. That was really serious. Um, I enjoyed that. I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did to hear this Middle Eastern music and a love song. Man, so cool. Uh, so cool. Anyway, hey, look, what do you think? Tell me in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't be late. Don't be a stranger. Thanks for coming here if you haven't been here before. And if you have been here, thanks for coming back. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice.